Today I'm sharing the one personal finance lesson that I have learned that has completely changed my life for the better. There are a lot of personal finance lessons I have learned over my life, but this one I think has had the greatest impact on my life. I am Tiffany Thomas, a financially free millionaire. If you're looking to become one of those as well, make sure and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and we're going to dive right in. All right, I wanna share a little of my background story so you know where I am coming from. I grew up in a home where we were taught to save our money, that we needed to have that savings for a rainy day. And I remember my dad going through the house and he would turn out the lights and constantly tell us kids to turn off the lights if we were not in the room. He did not wanna be paying a high power bill. And I've taken over that trait from my dad. I make sure and turn out the lights when I am not in a room. But we were taught that it was really important to save our money. And when I got my first job at a telemarketing place, I remembered to save a portion of my paycheck. I also paid my tithing, but I also saved a certain percentage of every single paycheck. And I actually have three older sisters, so all girls, but all of us were taught the importance of saving our money. And for some reason that really stuck with me. And I don't think it stuck with my sisters as quite as much as it did with me. I remember my sister that's just older than me asking to borrow some money from me. And so I would let her borrow money, but I also would charge her interest if she paid me back late. So at a young age, I knew the importance of money and of saving money, having some money in my savings account. So while I was filling up my savings account, I started to notice that people were in investing their money and not just saving their money. And that really scared me. I just kept thinking, well, what if I invest my money and I lose all of it? Then I won't have anything left. And it's probably safer to save my money because at least I have some money. But as time went on and I learned more about personal finance, I started to understand even more the importance of investing my money. So the first big investment that I made was purchasing my own house. And when I was purchasing this house, I talked to one of my friends who had his own place and he had a roommate living with him and he had other properties. So I asked him quite a few questions about investing in real estate and about buying his own place. And after talking with him and seeing the success that he had had, I decided to go ahead and purchase my first place and I had roommates in there with me so that they helped cover the mortgage payment. And I am super glad that I did that. But when I was buying my first place, I was really, really nervous about it. I kept thinking, well, what if the place gets flooded right after I buy it? Or what if there's a fire? What if there's some sort of disaster? But I just had to take a step back and think, okay, I know this is a good investment over the long term, and if something bad does happen to the property, that's why I have insurance. So after purchasing my first place and making money from having roommates, you think I would have seen the importance of investing, but it didn't quite click for me yet. It took another 10 years before I decided to purchase another real estate property. And when I did that, I talked to my same friend who was really successful, is really successful with real estate. I had a ton of money sitting in my savings account and I knew it needed to be working for me. I was just so nervous about investing. But after talking to my friend who is successful with real estate, plus talking to an old boss who is also successful with real estate. And then doing research on my own, I finally felt comfortable in purchasing a second property. And once I did that, I was on fire. I had success with that property and it wasn't right off. It took me a while to get that property rented, but it was easier to purchase that second property than my first property. And once I started seeing that cash flow coming in, I knew I wanted to purchase even another property. And I also knew that I needed to be investing in the stock market. So when I was trying to decide how to invest in the stock market, I looked on a bunch of different blogs to see what stocks they were investing in and I took a recommendation from a random blogger and bought a stock. And if you want more detail about that, I do have a video for you. I will leave a link above. I thought, you know what? This is probably not the best way to invest in the stock market. So I did more research on my own and I figured out that I could trust myself to choose some of my own individual stocks. And so that's what I did. And then later I purchased an index fund. And if you wanna know which index fund I like, I have a video for you about that. So I will leave a link above to that one. But I was having success in the stock market and trying to 
keep that long-term perspective. And then I was having success with real estate and I ended up purchasing a fourth property. I had finally come to the realization that if I only saved my money, I would not be able to retire. I knew I had to be investing my money in order to retire. And I remember having a lot of conversations with one of my previous coworkers in the lunchroom because we would always bring our lunches to work. We were both frugal together. And we would have these conversations about how much it's going to take to retire. And we had no clue. But since it was on my mind, I started doing research about it. And that's when I found the FIRE community, Financial Independence Retire Early. And if you have more questions about that, I do have a video, so I'll leave a link above. But I was able to calculate how much I would actually need in order to retire. And after figuring that out, I had a marker board and I wrote down all of my investment amounts, the cash flow I had coming in for my properties. And I knew that I would need to purchase one more property, my fourth property, in order to become financially free, in order to retire. I had no idea that I was so close to being able to retire. And while it was helpful to write these numbers out on my marker board, I also use a free app, it's called Personal Capital. I could see my full financial picture in just one place because I had all of my financial accounts hooked to Personal Capital. I had my checking, my savings accounts, different savings accounts, all of my credit cards, all of my investment accounts, and I could just see everything in one place. So I could see exactly how much money I had invested, how much money I had in my savings, and how much money was coming in every single month. If that's something you're interested in, I will leave my referral link below to Personal Capital. You can click on that and set up a free account. But it's important that we know exactly how much money is coming in, how much is going out, how much we already have invested, so that we can make improvements along the way. By learning this one personal finance lesson that saving money does not get you to retirement, it made the biggest impact on my life because I knew I needed to invest my money. So I figured out how to do that. I talked to a mentor. I did research online and then I took action. I actually invested my money. And by realizing this lesson, it had a ripple effect on my finances because I was so focused on investing my money so that I wouldn't have to work. I could if I wanted to, but I would have the option to work or not. I no longer spent a lot of money on clothing. That was one thing I was spending money on that I really didn't need to because I have plenty of clothes, but it just helped me in the other areas of my personal finances. For example, I knew I wanted to purchase another property, so I had to save up money for a down payment in order to do that. And if I was spending my money on frivolous things, then I wouldn't be able to purchase that property as soon as I wanted to. So if we can set one personal finance goal for ourselves, then it really helps us focus in on our finances and be better at spending our money on what's really important to us and not just swiping that credit card whenever we want to. And it also helps us invest more of our money or pay down our debt if that is where we are at on our financial journey. And for me, I wanted to keep things pretty simple with my investments. I wasn't looking to do fix and flips where I would have to purchase a property and quickly remodel it and then sell it right away and make a profit. I focused more on just buying homes that are in good condition that I could immediately rent out and start collecting cash flow. But I like to put the majority of my money into an index fund. It just makes it more simple. And that way I don't have a bunch of different stocks to keep my eye on. And also by realizing that I needed to invest my money and not just save it. It helped to really keep me motivated on my path to becoming financially free. And also I didn't want to be relying on someone else for money. While there are a ton of different personal finance lessons I have learned throughout my life, I feel like this one has had the biggest impact on my life. And I'm curious to know, comment below and tell me what financial lesson you have learned that has made the biggest impact for you. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and share it with someone else who would like to hear this information and to the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to the little bell to get notified on when I post new videos. And if you want to see even more content from me, make sure and check out the videos on the side of the screen. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.